Thank you very much, Presiding Officer. I wonder if that SNP applause was to make up for the people in the public gallery actually walking out yeah. as the First Minister yeah. Yeah. was speaking. Because Nicola Sturgeon, because Nicola Sturgeon is at it all over again. Yeah. Her eye is off the ball once more. The real priorities of people across Scotland are on the back burner. Instead, the First Minister is putting her plans to divide Scotland front and centre. Nicola Sturgeon has shown again today that the SNP's selfish obsession with another divisive referendum is always their top priority. She will use government time and resources to further her plan to break up the country just when we need to be pulling together and working yeah. as one. Yeah. All of our focus should be on tackling these huge challenges we face right now. Helping families with their bills, supporting frontline services and creating good jobs. Yeah. A potentially illegal referendum next year is the wrong priority for Scotland. Members, we will hear Mr Ross. Thank you. Well, SNP members uh, are unhappy about that. It is being referred to the court because the legality of it is not known. Therefore, it is a potentially illegal referendum and it would distract away from our recovery. It will damage our efforts to rebuild the country after COVID. It is also the last thing a clear majority of Scottish people want. The First Minister speaks of fear. The First Minister speaks of fear. But what concerns all of us is the price Scotland pays for her continued obsession yeah. with another referendum. Yeah. So we won't play Nicola Sturgeon's games. We won't take part in a pretend poll when there is real work to be done. Real work on the global cost of living crisis. Real work to invest in public services. Real work to rebuild our economy. Those are our priorities, and they're the real priorities of people across Scotland as well. But instead of focusing on the right priorities, Nicola Sturgeon is railroading this Parliament into talking about the SNP's obsession. On the First Minister's watch, this is becoming a do-nothing Parliament. Yeah. Nicola Sturgeon has confirmed today that she will introduce a bill for another independence referendum. But what is she doing about the country's top priorities? Nothing. Yeah. Education, no bills. Yeah. Drugs, no ideas. Ferries, none that float. That is Nicola Sturgeon Scotland and this Parliament is beginning to be a Parliament that doesn't get to act on the people's real priorities. A Parliament that only exists to further the SNP's interests. A do-nothing Parliament with a First Minister obsessed with another referendum at all costs. So can I ask the First Minister, why should the people of Scotland's real priorities be put on the back burner for another divisive, damaging independence referendum. First Minister. Well, I, uh, I think at the last count, Douglas Ross had three jobs. He may be a do-nothing MSP, but this is certainly uh, a do-much uh, parliament. He, Douglas Ross has also demonstrated members. Thank you. An apparent inability to actually listen to what we said in the statement. Uh, I know that the legality uh, of a referendum passed by this Parliament without a Section 30 order is contested. That is why I have asked the Lord Advocate to refer the matter to the Supreme Court so that that can be put beyond any doubt. Uh, a referendum that goes ahead will be indisputably uh, legal because the Supreme Court will have deemed it so. Um, and at that stage, uh, any claims uh, about boycotts will sound even sillier uh, than they do now and demonstrate one thing and one thing only. Uh, the Conservatives have no confidence in the arguments for the continuation of the Union. Uh, now, we have this strange uh, conundrum, don't we, uh, in Scotland, where the Tories suggest uh, that nobody in Scotland uh, wants the opportunity uh, to choose independence in a referendum, and yet they have somehow managed to elect a majority of MSPs in this Parliament who propose an independence referendum. Douglas Ross also says that a clear majority don't want independence. Can I gently suggest to him 
If he was confident in that, yeah. uh, he would be desperate to put the question to the people of Scotland in a referendum. Setting officer, my plans are to equip this Parliament and this country with all of the powers and all of the resources that other independent countries take for granted and that we need to navigate the challenges that Scotland, in common with the rest of the world, face right now. The truth is, Scotland is paying a price for not being independent, ripped out of the European Union and the single market completely against our will, suffering uh, one of the worst cost of living crises in the developed world because of that, higher inflation than any other G7 country, lower growth than any G20 country other than Russia. Uh, we're seeing children pushed into poverty by a Conservative government that we didn't elect. Scotland needs independent to better navigate those challenges uh, so that all of the focus, all of the power, all of the resources uh, of this government and future Scottish governments can be on exactly uh, that, addressing the priorities of the Scottish people in line with mandates given by the Scottish people.